Alright folks, uh, when I first bought my camera three years ago, or no I'm sorry, two, two and a half years ago, the very first video I ever made was right here on our way to the creek where I'm getting ready to go to and I just decided, you know, I haven't been here for two and a half years, so I wanted to come look at it. It's a really cool place. Uh, what this is right here is just a little cemetery um, But if you continue on through about only about a hundred feet from the road through this little trail right here is an old stone quarry and it's about a 60 foot cliff all the way around the entire thing and it's a big quarry. We're talking a uh, hundred or so acres in size maybe even larger. It's real long I'd say it's a half mile long and 100 yards wide or more. If I could only get down to it, it would be in a, probably an amazing bluegill fishery uh, because the water is very blue and very, very deep. It's a really cool place. I've always wanted to get down to it. There is one spot you can get down way over there, but. Uh, it involves a lot of walking and trespassing, so I'm not going to do that. This water is just blue as the ocean, my goodness. Very cool. The creek actually runs right behind this where we're getting ready to go but we're going about a half mile down river literally right behind us and I just guarantee if I was to ever fish this river up here it'd be probably a big bluff along all that and be excellent smallmouth this water right here is a bluish green I can see a tree an old cedar tree that's sticking way up I'd say the water is 40 foot deep at least uh, I'm gonna try to squat over here I don't feel real comfortable going very far out on it but uh, I will go right here I guess I just don't want to go any further because it's spooky and then what I'm gonna do is kneel down and get a good view of this place for you guys I'm gonna sit here and kind of watch for bluegill while I'm talking to you but yeah, I can see uh, a few bluegills swimming around and stuff. Wow. Yeah, if I could just get my... There's the road that originally came down where they hauled the rock out. If I could just get in there. But it's gated off over there. And it would be a quarter mile drive or more. Even if it was unlocked. But, uh... Even if I was to go over there and fish on foot, I could fish that whole flat area over there. You got a good spot where you could fish it. Yeah. It's about 40 foot deep out in the middle. Pretty deep. I'm going to have to come here and fish sometime. Over there, you can fish that whole spot because it's real flat. I am. Because I got a good view right here. I'm going to show you guys a close up of the trees under the water sticking out pretty cool place man I like quarries a lot I've always been fascinated with them now I'm gonna get back off of here and look at a different area of it
No, I'm fine now. I'm going to walk over and look at different spots. This ain't even half of it. It goes, it goes that way half a mile. This is the shortest end. I just want to look this way a little bit. Or do you want to go down the road? Or do you want to walk down the road where we can go down where the stones were? <coughs> fish down there. Be a long walk. It's got bluegill and bass. I've seen them before. down that way a little bit I want to look at more of it. I want to take the picture with my phone too. Forgot to take a picture. So I can put it on the Facebook. I'm just looking for an easy spot. That don't look bad. Right there ain't bad. Maybe right here. No, it's hard. I don't know if we can get the good view or not. Oh yeah, once you get right here through here. There's an opening out here though. Oh yeah. Here we go. All right, folks, this is the other end. Wow. I told you it's way bigger than what you think. It's huge down here. There's a, about eight ducks out here. Actually, they're geese. Oh, there's about 20 of them. All right, folks, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And the rest of this quarry here. Zoom in on these geese, I guess. Nothing else. Look at that cliff, boy. This would be some fun cliff diving back in my wild teenage years. We would have had a heyday here because that's what I used to do when I was young a lot. That cliff's at least 60 to 80 feet over. I'd say we're 80 feet up in the air, yeah. No, that, that at least 60, and that one up there in that corner is 80 feet. We may be possibly 80 feet here though. 60 to 80. It's hard for me to judge height. We're a good 60, 70 feet up in the air at least. This is a 
pretty fairly good sized quarry like right here we can only see half of it it's probably half mile in length altogether <sighs> see him I can't imagine some of the big bluegill in here. They get really big in quarries like that. So you get a strain on this, that's why you get water? No, it's just rainwater. It holds the water in, it just filled up with rain. They could have hit a spring, I guess, but most likely just rainwater. I'm still watching for fish, you're right, I don't really see many, but I have seen them before. I just don't think there's a whole lot. Orange. Yeah, there's something in the water. Alright folks, we're going to get down to the waterfall and start fishing.